Hey folks, Randy Gold, Trout Magic Man with you here today. Uh, first, let me apologize for not putting up a video in the past couple of weeks. Uh, I went fishing two weeks ago, uh, picked out two days of that week to go fishing with my son. It got so hot we couldn't, we couldn't stay on the water. I mean, literally, we weren't on the water for an hour. Caught a few fish, but not enough to do a video on. Uh, I mean, it was just absolutely, it was beyond miserable. 100 degrees on both those days. And so, just... Uh, just didn't get a video out. Uh, should have done some videos, should have done some rod reviews, reel reviews, lure reviews, uh, and I apologize for that. Uh, try not to let that happen again. Uh, then last week, I went up to Center Hill Lake uh, scouting out for crappie condos and found quite a few. Uh, there were no fish on them, uh, and while I took a rod and I, I, I did uh, do a little fishing, uh, caught a ton of uh, four and five inch bluegill, found massive schools of bluegill, in 21 feet of water all throughout the lake, but all of them seemed to be four and five inches long, and I didn't think anybody wanted to watch that. But I uh, found a lot of crappie condos that people had sunk. Uh, there's no secrets for using a, a hummingbird side image in, anymore. I mean, uh, you're gonna find them. So I marked those, and as this water cools off more, I'll be going back to check those out. But yesterday, I made it down to Nickajack. Uh, even though the water release schedule was not good because we need some rain here folks in the Tennessee Valley we need a lot of rain but and they're they're not running the water like they normally would because they don't the lakes are already low and they don't they don't have a lot of water to run except to generate electricity so uh, wasn't, wasn't a whole lot of water running yesterday so I went down river uh, to uh, find some uh, fish I found some Kentucky bass, uh, found quite a few of them. Um, the problem was most of them were in the, say, eight to nine, maybe 10 inch range. I caught two that went 15 inches, uh, but I had an absolute ball. Those smaller fish, I caught about 75 of those fish. I mean, I was just like a kid in a candy store. I mean, it, it was fun. I was using a Finesse prototype rod uh, with the uh, uh, Dive Presso Limited 1025 reel spooled up with the three pound uh, bite marker system fluorocarbon that has five different colors in it where I can see the line. And I was working the Magbite McFly. I wanted to show you the difference in uh, blade baits. This is a quarter ounce, uh, of course, with the uh, number eight treble hooks, uh, which I'm not a fan of at all. This is the Magbite McFly, three gram. And as you can see, it's considerably smaller than a uh, quarter ounce blade bait that you would get here in the States. And then I've got a trout magnet rigged on a, a one and a half gram jig head here where you can see just how small this uh, blade bait is. Uh, now, the blade bait also has a skirt on it. Now, the skirt can be easily removed and I thought that that skirt might present a problem for bluegill getting this. Well, that's not the case. Bluegill, uh, they, they seem to love it with the skirt, that's for sure, and I fished it both ways. But the skirt doesn't, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, and when fish hit these things, they knock the living fire out of them. But this bait uh, is certainly uh, uh, a keeper for me. Uh, and, uh, just wanted to show you the different sizes. I got a couple of different colors, uh, all I could get. I got, of course, here, the uh, this is a actually a dark, it's, it's almost black, but it's not really black. And the thing about these, these have a, uh, a that dot on the bottom glows. Uh, not sure, you know, <laughs> how much uh, effect that has on the fish, if any at all, but it may, I don't know. But the thing about it too, and I, I've tested this out in water, when it hits in the water, it will sit straight up like that off the bottom. And I've had a lot of fish pick this thing up off the bottom, which I find absolutely amazing. They will, uh, you can cast this out, count it down, and you can either uh, skip it across the bottom like you would normally a jig, you can slowly retrieve it, you can bounce it. Uh, fish just love this thing. I mean, they absolutely love it. They kill it. Uh, and so I'm going to, I have, uh, I think I have a total of 21 of these. 
unfortunately, that's uh, that's all that the was available on on the, on the market. But I just wanted to show you the size difference here with these baits. Uh, and to me, this is what makes it so so great for me. I, I'm an ultralight angler. Uh, I'm all about micro stuff. Uh, I don't like the bigger stuff. Now, a lot of people say, well, quarter ounce is not that big. Well, it is big. It's too big for me. I do have some rods that can handle a quarter ounce, but most of my ultralight rods will only handle uh, bait smaller than that, say, you know, uh, an eighth and smaller. Uh, and, but I just don't like the profile of that compared to this. I really love this profile. And trust me, folks, that catches fish. But anyway, we'll, we'll talk some more about it. Uh, but there's just an indication of the size of uh, the Magbite McFly 3 gram blade bait. We dedicated uh, yesterday to fishing the Magbite McFly. And I gotta tell you, folks, this lure, it is the real deal. You've heard me say that once already, I think, before, but I really tested it out yesterday. Bluegill will kill this thing. Although I didn't catch any big bluegill yesterday, but even four and five inch bluegill will just absolutely just knock the living fire out of this thing. Uh, and I was fishing in 30 feet of water off of a ledge. A ledge dropped off. I mean, it dropped off from just a few feet down to about 30 feet. And uh, you can hop this thing. You can swim it. Uh, you can fish it like a jig. Uh, you can pop it. Uh, you can steadily retrieve it. Uh, fish are going to hit it. I caught crappie, uh, Kentucky bass, bluegill. Uh, I've caught smallmouth on it before, didn't catch any smallmouth yesterday. But uh, this bait uh, is, is something else. Now, folks, I'm not affiliated with Magbite McFly. I'm not affiliated with Digitaka. I'm not affiliated with Platt. The only people I'm affiliated with is I'm on the promotional staff of Trout Magnet Lures. And uh, I've known Jeff Smith for a lot of years, but I fish trout magnet because it catches me fish, not because uh, he pays me, he doesn't pay me a thing. Uh, I buy my products just like y'all do. If you're buying trout magnet, although I do get a discount, but I absolutely love the trout magnet. But when you're fishing a trout magnet or trying to fish a trout magnet in 30 feet of water, that just don't work out too good. Uh, and when you get up to the heavier jig heads, it seems like when you get over two gram size jig head on a trout magnet, uh, it, your catch rate goes down. It, it, you know, but I think that would be with any any lure to tell you the truth. But with a trout magnet, it's 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 really obvious. Uh, so I've been looking and looking and looking and looking. Uh, something that can get me in some deeper water that's easier to stay deep, keep it on the bottom, and I I saw this uh, mag bite. Uh, vibration bait online. I said, I got to try some of those. So I first ordered six of them and they came in. I saw they caught fish. So then I started trying to find others because I know how that goes in the Japanese production schedule. Uh, they'll make a production run and every how many they make, they'll sell out and they won't be anymore for three or four or five months. I don't know why the Japanese market does that, but that's just the way they do business. So I was able to find uh, 16 more online which give me a total of, of 22 baits. I can't find any online now, not in, not in three gram weight. Now, I don't want people to rush out and buy these lures just because I'm catching fish with them. I'm just reporting on what how I find that they work. Uh, you don't need these lures to catch fish. You don't need these rods to catch fish. You don't need the line I use to catch fish. I've told you many, many times, get you a cane pole, a tube of crickets, and go have at it. You're gonna catch a lot of fish. But I'm an ultralight angler. I love fishing JDM tackle. Uh, I love uh, fishing the micro baits, and Japan certainly has a lot of micro baits. One thing I like about the uh, Magbite McFly is the uh, single hook, trailer hook. And that's the only one on there. I do not like dealing with treble hooks. But anyway, uh, had a very uh, fun day yesterday. Uh, it was a little crisp, uh, the weather's cooling off. Uh, supposed to go fish with my son tomorrow. The only problem with tomorrow is you're calling for 15 to 20 mile an hour wind, so that may put that off. But I will get back out somewhere Thursday and Friday and, and, and get up a video about something uh, if I don't catch any fish, which that's always possible, when you, especially this time of year. Fall transition can be tough. Uh, sometimes it's hard to find fish. Um, I did try out my crappie hole uh, that I fished from on the bank at Nickajack, which if you go back last uh, October, November, 
on my videos, you'll see just how good that crappie hole is. Crappie had not moved in there yet, not, not, a, not a one there. And they will show up. It just, you got to keep going to find out if they're there. So anyway, folks, hope you enjoy this video. As I said earlier, sorry about uh, taking so long to get another video up. We'll try not to let that happen again. Although, winter is coming. Now, in the winter, I, I will fish, but the weather's got to be decent. And when I say decent, that means no wind. I'm talking about zero wind. If it's 45 degrees and an 8, 9, 10 mile an hour wind, even a 5 mile an hour wind, I, you're not going to find me on the water because that cold, it'll just cut right through me. It can be 35 degrees, sunshine and no wind, I'll go. It can be 25 degrees, sunshine and no wind, and I'll go. But that wind gets up with just a little bit of cold temperatures, I'm staying at home. So, but I will, you know, be doing some rod reviews or uh, reel reviews or something. I need to get up a full rod review on the uh, the new uh, Major Craft Area Stage six foot three Super Ultralight rod I got. It's a keeper, folks. I need to uh, give it justice by by doing a full review of it, and I will be doing that. So anyway, hope all of you are doing well. I appreciate the comments. Appreciate you supporting the channel. Uh, and uh, we're going to continue to fish, folks, and continue to put out videos uh, when we can, which I'm hoping will be on a regular basis. Until then, remember, soul lip them all, and life is good. I'm telling you what's the truth, folks. This blade bait, you know, Kentucky. <laughs> oh, have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Boy, you can have some fun with this bait now. Folks, I ain't catching no big fish here. Uh, but I tell you what, you can have fun with this blade bait now. I'm here to tell you. It's got a good fish here, folks. Got a decent fish. May not be a good one, but he's decent. He's decent. Well, I say that. Decent enough. What you talking about? Here we go. <laughs> oh, mercy me. Mercy me, folks. Mercy me. It's good fish here. It's good fish here. It's good fish here, folks. Make sure that camera's on. I say he's good. He's better than them little ones I've been catching. It appears to be good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's good Kentucky here. Good Kentucky here. 
you, what you talking about? What you talking about? What you talking about, folks? Shoot fire. What you talking about now? Yes, sir. What you talking about? Wow, 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 wow. Now, folks, I've been catching. Oops, dropped that joker. Didn't mean to do that. I've been catching little seven, eight inch Kentuckys by dozens and dozens. Finally got a good one. Uh, this blade bait, now I'll put this on video, but uh, this blade bait is the real deal. This is a 15 inch fish. Uh, that's a good Kentucky bass in anybody's book. Now I'm not going to put them little fish on the video. This may be the only good one I catch today, but boy, I've been having a ball down here. Let's get him back in. There he goes. 